What's up guys? Welcome back to another pottery video. So good to have you in my studio. This morning, we have an exciting video today. We, I had this idea for pottery videos as like a myth busting pottery idea. Cause there's so many things out there that are common. Um, some of them are true, some of them are misconceptions, some of them are, it depends. And so there's so many things in pottery. One of the things that we're gonna test today is is it air pockets that blow up clay? Because that's really something that's super common. You've definitely heard it before, that if there's air pockets in the clay, that they'll blow up in the kiln. And so this is something that I think I was taught in college. If you took ceramics in high school, you might have been taught. But is it really an air pocket? I went to, I went onto a Facebook group on Facebook. Facebook group on Facebook, obviously. But I'm a part of a couple different Facebook groups on Facebook. I keep saying that. That's so stupid. Why am I saying Facebook groups on Facebook? Facebook group. I'm part of two Facebook groups, Pottery Heads and Clay Buddies. And they're both great. They're a wealth of information. If you're on Facebook and you're a potter, clay person, and you want some great information, go check those out. Clay Buddies, Pottery Heads. They're super, super helpful people. Shout out to Tim C, Paul, like some of the admins on those, especially Clay Buddies has a ton of great information. So I posted on there, hey, what are some myths that are common among potters that aren't necessarily true or kind of have more of an it depends situation. So I thought it'd be fun to do a video on all of them. Turns out there's a ton and there's a lot of controversial ones. So I'm gonna just pick and choose a few. So this one, this video is gonna be, we're gonna fire this ball. I'm gonna show you how I threw it and trimmed it. It's hollow, there's air in there. Threw it as a closed form. We're also gonna test, these are leather hard mugs, so they are not dry at all. They are still full of moisture, and we're gonna just put them in the bisque kiln and fire them. So we're testing two myths. We're testing, can you fire a hollow form? Will it blow up? And we're also testing, can you fire a piece before it's completely dry? And my theory, the both of these, is that you can, as long as you fire it slow enough. So we're gonna preheat, I'll show you how we're gonna set the kiln. Uh, but first, let's go to a few days ago when we threw this pot. Ready? So now we're gonna load, so we got all this stuff that we're gonna load over here uh, into the bisque kiln. And then we're gonna put these near the top and then we're gonna set it at a preheat on our scut kiln for probably like eight to 10 hours and then have it bisque on slow. So we're gonna do it really, really slow for this. And then we'll check back in a couple days, see if this blew up or if these blow up. All right, let's do it. Okay, so we got the thing basically loaded. Um, so now we're gonna load these wet, these wet ones in. So this is, I mean, this is definitely by no means the best way to do it, but if you like have a customer that ordered, you know, 30 mugs and they need them by this weekend, this is what you can do. Now, I don't typically fire them when they're this wet. We're gonna test her out. So then our completely hollow ball, we're gonna put this right there i mean i'm gonna put little barriers there i don't who knows if i need to do that or don't do that and that's it normally i'd fill the, the kiln like to the top but just since this is an experiment i'm gonna leave it be let's fire this thing see if that's gonna blow up i actually have no idea i suspect that firing it slow enough because clay right now is porous and so technically if we fire it slow enough then the air will come will seep out i think let's close this thing 
All right, so now we're gonna bisque fire it. I have this fancy touch screen. So we're gonna do cone fire. We're bisking to cone 06, which is 1828 degrees. Save, we're gonna medium speed, and we're gonna preheat it for 10 hours, which is probably way overkill. But, you know, the most I ever preheat normally is five, six hours, but just for this test, we're gonna preheat it for 10 hours. Check out some time lapses for the next five seconds, and then we'll be back and I'll open this kiln to see if it blew up. Let's do it. All right, friends, we are back after a couple days. That kiln went up to 1828 degrees and then came back down. And it is now at 120 degrees. Go check it out and see if this thing blew up. Ready? So, 120. Are you ready? I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. Ooh, it's a, still a little warm. There it is. It did not, it did not break. And how are these mugs underneath here? Totally fine. So these were totally wet when we put them in here. All good. Does that settle it? Does that settle it that air pockets will not blow up your clay because we basically just fired a giant air pocket? I don't know what I'm gonna do with this ball, this orb. It didn't blow up, it didn't blow up in the kiln. All right, so we're gonna unload the rest of this kiln right now. Let's do it. All right, friends, that's it for this video. Tune into, I think the next video, or in a couple videos, we're gonna be glazing this. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna glaze this. Circle donut teapot. But, that was a fun video. Comment below, tell me what else you want me to try. What other pottery myths or questions or concerns you have out there that you, wanna, that you want me to try? We'll also glaze this. I don't quite know what I'm gonna do with it yet. But, that's it for this video, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Like, share, comment, all the things. Shout out to all the patrons on Patreon. We're sending pottery every month to the patrons. Just sent off a couple twisted tumblers uh, to a few people, Celia, Robin. Thank you guys over on the Patreon page. Love you over there. Um, keep this channel going. So, we'll see you in the next video.